Oh. Dr. Hawaii, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Why I walked through the door coming. Yeah. So this is Andrew, and he's the um, the architect. And so you're in great hands with him as your tour guide, um, and he'll bring you through the building. Um, most of what you'll see is downstairs, and then you'll go upstairs for a brief period as well. Okay. All right. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Well, all, I'm Andrew, uh, one of the architects for the building. So you're standing in the main lobby. Um, you'll see some of the beautiful artwork. A uh, number of the pieces within the building are original artwork that was done for the building. So um, this one was a hand done mosaic uh, by an artist from Houston. Um, so it's, it came in four big pieces here and then was uh, patched together with hand mosaics in on the site, so it's a pretty wonderful piece. Back here is the Radiation Oncology. I'm Dr. Stephen Lane, the Chief of Radiation Oncology. We're in the brand new uh, treatment machine uh, room that we have here. Uh, we just installed a brand new machine. It's called a True Beam. It does really high-tech treatments. Uh, we treat basically every cancer we have here. We've gone down to just one machine here. Uh, this machine allows us to treat any part of the body with radiation. Uh, we can do all sorts of new high-tech treatments that before were only offered in Boston, so we're able to bring those treatments here, what we call SBRT for lung cancers and SRS for uh, brain tumors and metastatic tumors to the brain. Uh, so this is really uh, on the forefront of technology and really allows us to try to keep people in the uh, Brockton area instead of traveling to Boston every day for treatment. To, uh, 13 bays for patients to receive their infusions. We have um, kind of like a two two tier system here. If people want to be uh, communicative and you know meet together with the patients that they're next door to, they have the opportunity to do that. We also have the opportunity for patients if they just want to be by themselves and just you know just I just want to be alone by myself. We have that, but we do find that patients do like to talk to each other out, it's like a support group for them all to say, yes, I've been there, I've done that, how did you handle it? And then they say, oh yeah, and how did you work with this? And we do find that that's, uh, you know, helpful to them while they're here. Um, we try to get patients in right away as far as scheduling goes and make it conducive to their lifestyles because their life has been turned upside down even just by having cancer itself. So we try to make it most compatible for them when they come in here. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the grand opening of Signature Healthcare's incredible comprehensive cancer care center. My name is Jeff Miller, and I'm the vice president for development here at Signature Healthcare. Today, we celebrate a great day in the 121 year history of Brockton Hospital with this center's opening. Let's start our ceremony with a blessing from Sister Barbara Harrington, our pastoral care director. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Ma'ach Hakban, 
Bonsoir. Ben, bien, bien. Bienvenidos a todas y todos. Welcome. And so let us pray. O oh, great mystery, you are alive. We see you all around, in the pulse, in the shock, in death, in the imagination, in the hunger to heal and to be healed. Guide us, all of us, in Greater Brockton, in Signature Healthcare, to bind ourselves together as a community of care, compassionate, intelligent and creative. For there is one thing of which we are sure, and it is this, love's firmest ground lies beneath the fragile. We are all earthen vessels, powered in the fires of chaos and loss, quaking with personal and planetary pain and sorrow, sensitive to hope when touched by one uniquely called not to heal a malady, but rather to serve the whole person. May this place, this comprehensive cancer center, be a space to discover evoke and enhance evolutionary tenderness, intelligence, solidarity, selflessness, and celebration. May we be sensitive to the sacredness of the world, to unfolding unconditional joy and well-being in all the wondrous and difficult moments of life. O oh, great mystery, we pray this with humility, born of our great privilege. May we be healers, and may we be healed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Barbara. Your work in spiritual presence and guidance plays a vital role in the lives of our patients. Our patients are blessed to have you and your staff as part of their healing team. Our recent affiliation with Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center and Harvard Medical Faculty Physicians for Medical Oncology Services, coupled with our existing affiliation with U.S. Oncology for Radiation Oncology Services, ensures that our patients will receive the very best and most comprehensive cancer care close to home. It takes the hard work of many to bring a project such as this to fruition. Thanks to each and every one of you who had a hand in bringing us this life-changing cancer center. It all starts with a vision of providing superior quality of care to our patients, delivered in a highly safe and reliable fashion right here in our own community where we live and work. Every vision is a product of one or more visionaries. And at this time, I would like to call upon Signature Healthcare's president and CEO, Kim Hallin, our leading visionary in this endeavor, who's going to introduce our first speaker. I want to introduce in a moment Mayor Bill Carpenter and as part of that introduction I want to say thank you to Mayor Carpenter and the city staff at, at the uh, Brockton City. Thank you so much for what the city does for us every day and I wanted to start there but thank you so much for the fire and the police and the support we get, support our employees get, our patients and the community both that are here as well as the surrounding community. Sometimes I think being a mayor is a thankless job. You do an awesome job. The city is the city of champions and thank you for your leadership. And 
as the building goes, thank you for leading the city into working on business development. Uh, as some cities might say, and as developers might say, I couldn't get a building done because I couldn't get the city to cooperate. But thank you so much for the seamlessness within which city staff worked with the builder and our developer on this project to help us make sure it was, it was done in a way that is safe for our patients, safe for our community, safe for our employees, meets the building code, but finished on time, and we couldn't do it without the support of the city. Mayor Bill Carpenter, thank you, and thank you for being here today. Well, good afternoon, Kim. Thank you very much for the kind words. This is really a great day, great evening for the city on so many different fronts. Uh, I want to personally thank Signature, Beth Israel, Deaconess, everyone here who filled some sort of a role in making this cancer center a reality. Um, you know, from a mayor's perspective, Kim alluded to the economic development and absolutely healthcare is our largest sector of our economy here in Brockton. We're a city of 100,000 people that has three full-size hospital campuses and all the other medical spin-offs that come from that. And certainly the addition of this cancer center creates jobs and brings more people onto the campus of Signature Healthcare, which is good for all of us. Uh, I think from a personal standpoint, maybe even more importantly though, what this cancer center does is it improves the quality of life for people living in the city and people in the immediately surrounding communities also. You know, when people are, families are choosing what community they're going to buy their first home in, where they want to raise their children, what kind of a city do they want to live in, Accessibility of quality health care is absolutely one of the things that I think most families do consider. And what Brockton has to offer has been greatly enhanced by the creation of this cancer center. And I know that now the ability to bring world-class cancer treatment here to Brockton, surrounding, serving Brockton and the surrounding region, enhances the quality of life for all of us. And particularly, I'm sure we've all been touched by a loved one battling cancer, as I have, and to know what it will mean to a family with someone who is battling cancer, to not have to make those trips in and out of Boston for treatments or for radiation, how difficult that is on the, not just the person who's sick, but the family that's trying to support them uh, in their treatment and their recovery, and now to be able to do that locally right here uh, will just make that fight so much less painful and I'm sure improve outcomes and help every family here. So we truly appreciate uh, Signature and Beth Israel Deaconess bringing this cancer center to Brockton. And uh, if you haven't seen it yet, check it out. It's truly amazing. Thank you. Thanks, Mayor. I've often said um, in a number of settings that buildings, who cares about buildings? Buildings do not deliver care. In fact, historically, I've really downplayed the role of physical space in treatment. Our people deliver care, and our people at Signature are special. Every year, our team is recognized by people outside the organization for excellence in care and safety as we have been in this year. And we know that all of our business strategies, regardless of how important they, we think they are sometimes, pale in comparison to the dedication we have to our own patients. If you looked at the Massachusetts Hospital Association's patient care link, you would see comparisons to other health care and to the state. If you looked at it, you might think that there's a data problem because it looks at harm that happens to patients. And if you look at Signature, there's just a lot of blanks because our team doesn't produce harm. We produce care. And we have an amazing team that provides amazing care every day. And although I am excited about this building, I think I'm probably equally proud of our success this past year of reducing serious safety events for our patients by over 80%. I think that's important. We built this building around our patients with our patients coming first and us 
coming second. I do have to admit the building is special. First of all, the building's special because without the building, I don't think in the dream for a building, we never would have had a partnership with Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. We went looking for an academic partner six years ago, probably, and we said we want an academic partner that will help us with orthopedics and help us with cancer care and help us build a cancer center. Uh, it's been a long time, <laughs> six years ago, to get here, but that partnership's important. It wouldn't have been without this building. Without this building, we wouldn't have been able to bring our incredibly exceptional radiation oncologist across the street into a building with Harvard Faculty Medicals Group who is providing for us an incredible team of medical oncologists. And our team we have with McKesson and the hospital to build a cancer care center that is comprehensive, built for our patients, aimed at our patients, and that will deliver comprehensive care as we, being, as we bring Boston to Brockton. I am proud of the building. I am proud of the process, and I want to say thank you to a number of people who helped through this process. So buildings don't just get built. We started with a long weekend with David Adams and Adams Strategy and TRO, our architects. And we had patient input to build this building for our patients and make sure that the flow worked for them. And they have done an awesome job. If you haven't had a chance to tour, please do. And we are excited about the flow and the feel and bringing in the outdoors for our patients during their time here. I couldn't be more impressed with the work of Murphy McManus, our developer. There's only some nerds like me that might get so excited when you go back into the back room where the boilers are and you see how well the copper tubing has been placed. Now, if you are someone who says building trades are important and you can tell a lot about quality by whether or not things are aligned, the building's clean during construction, and all the piping is in parallel lines as if it was done for a piece of art. This building was built as if it was one massive piece of art. And that, that is because of the dedication of the developer and his team, his contractors and his subs, that they could build a house for me anytime. And I can guarantee you they could build a house or a church for you. I also want to thank our board, our donors, our bankers, who believed in us and trusted in us enough to allow us to build a building for this community. This is about the community at its heart as we provide exceptional care in this building in the future. And I finally want to thank the signature staff for a lot of really hard work helping this building get built, helping move radiation oncology in, and soon to be helping moving medical oncology in at the end of the month. And of course, this wouldn't be possible without Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, Harvard Faculty Medical Group, and support of a great academic partner. I spent most of my career working in multi-hospital systems, where I watched CEOs of multi-hospital systems say they believed in community medicine, but really didn't walk the talk. And I've worked in hospitals where community CEOs in the same facility came in and said, I really believe in community medicine, and they walked the talk. When I first met Kevin, I couldn't tell whether or not it was one, which one it was. Was it the CEO who says he believes but really doesn't walk? Or the say he believes and he pulls it off? Kevin has. Kevin's assembled a team. I think one of the things that makes cancer care different is we have a medical director of community cancer care. That's a commitment from Beth Israel to the community. That is one of the things that happens around this process that makes it work for us. We could not be happier uh, with orthopedics, the growth of orthopedics, more than doubled since we've had the partnership with Beth Israel, and I know this is going to make a difference in our community. Kevin, that wouldn't happen without a true leader who walks his talk, who I believe is so critically important. Thank you for helping us build the facility, and thanks for making your way down today. Kevin. Well, Kim, thank you very much. You know, uh, I, I, th those remarks were very nice. I, I appreciate that. I want to 
I want to echo Kim's thanks to, that he gave to all of you, but also to add my own thanks uh, to Kim, because this, uh, this project would not have happened uh, without his vision around the kind of care that needs to be, needs to be delivered right here in Brockton. We, we've had that relationship in place for a number of years now. Uh, it's been a great relationship, but this really takes it to the next level. Uh, this, the, this affiliation has served, I think, Signature Healthcare well. It's served Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center well, but most importantly, it has served uh, the community and our patients very well. It allows our patients and this community to receive care right here in the community. And the mayor talked about that. I can't think of a better time to get your care right here than when you're sick. I can't think of a worse time to traipse up to Boston, brave the traffic, look for parking, than when you need to go through something like a chemotherapy treatment. And it is high time that we provide great care in the community. This is one of the best examples of our being able to do that. And we're, we're really, really thrilled. I, I have to say I'm also a little jealous uh, because in talking to Kim, I realized uh, we've had the affiliation for a number of years, but this building went up in a year and a half. Now I can tell you nothing in Boston goes up in a year and a half. Uh, but that is really, uh, that's, that's amazing. Uh, it's already open. Uh, uh, you, you've seen it. Uh, already seeing patients and we'll see more uh, by the end of the month. It's really uh, extraordinary care delivered right here in Brockton supported by BIDMC's pioneering cancer treatment strategies and the research, it's state-of-the-art care, state-of-the-art collaboration in a state-of-the-art facility. So it, it took a lot to get to this day, a lot of thinking and planning and fundraising and hard work. Um, and, and probably more than anything else, it took a lot of, a lot of teamwork. Uh, so the, that teamwork involved a host of different people I'd call out just a few here. Two of the key people are here from the medical center. Uh, Dr. Marianne Stevenson, chair of the Department of Radiation Oncology at BIDMC, and Dr. Stuart Ber Berman, also in the Department of Radiation Oncology. They've had a hugely important role in designing and executing this. Thank you. I think there are three other people at least that deserve our, our special thanks and recognition today. Uh, Dr. Rolf Freider. And as you all know, Dr. Freider is the Chief of Medical Oncology and Hematology here at Signature. And I've already heard uh, that any time a patient needs to be seen, uh, his, uh, his reaction is, how soon can I see them? And that's the kind of care that you deserve right here. Dr. Mark Garnick, Director of the Community Cancer Network for Medical Oncology at BIDMC. Thank you, Mark. And, and Dr. Stephen Lane, uh, Chief of Radiation Oncology at uh, Signature. Thank you. Thank you for all that you've done and all that I know that you will continue to do on behalf of Signature Healthcare, BIDMC, and the many, many patients uh, that we're privileged to serve together. Thank you. Please join me in welcoming all of them. Thank you, Dr. Tapp. So you've, uh, you've heard Dr. Freider's name. Um, so I'd like to ask Dr. Freider. Dr. Garnick and Dr. Lane to come forward um, as, as a group and address the, uh, the audience. Uh, Dr. Garnick is from the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center and he's overseeing, he oversees the community integration. Dr. Freider is our Chief of Medical Oncology and Dr. Lane our Chief of Radiation Oncology. Dr. Garnick. Jeff, thank you very much. Um, before I begin, I'd just like to acknowledge a few other people that have been critical in the collaboration, and that includes Paul Miller, 
Dr. Hidalgo, who's our chief, Chris Autry, Dr. Stan Lewis, who heads all of the development and network within the hospital, uh, and uh, Will Deaconess, in addition to Dr. Stevenson and Dr. Berman. So I'd like to acknowledge their, their participation. So, so cancer has always been part of my professional life in all aspects. I've served as a researcher in drug development, as an oncologist in clinical trials, both in the academic and industry settings. And as, I like to think of myself as an educator of young physicians in cancer medicine, and most recently as an administrator. And over the past 11 years, I have participated in the growth and development of amazing collaborations between academic medical centers and community cancer programs. And bringing the best, best of both worlds together in our relations with Signature Healthcare in Brockton Hospital is really among the best. And in the last 18 months, cancer has again become a very, very important part of my life. And yes, this time as a patient. In the last 18 to 24 months, I have personally been diagnosed with two serious forms of cancer. A form of bladder cancer that requires three years of treatment and on the first anniversary of that three-year program, an aggressive form of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, for which I recently completed six months of chemotherapy. And I was actually able to address this wonderful group in May of 2017, and at that point I had not had one haircut really since October of 2016. And since then I've had three haircuts. <laughs> But it's this latter aspect of my life as a cancer patient and as the director of cancer programs emanating from the Academic Medical Center that the importance of these collaborations have become so significant. The ability of patients being diagnosed with cancer in the Brockton area and to be assured and guaranteed that they will receive the best and identical care that would have been received in an academic medical, in an academic medical center is one of the most important missions of these collaborations and now having personally experienced the fruits of cancer therapy advances, making these advances to our affiliates has become the driving force for me personally and professionally. Because cancer is so complex, it is inevitable that not all of the services of a much larger institution will be available on site at our community cancer affiliate centers. But that is not available directly here is not a concern because without, with seamlessly it is available immediately at our center as a tangible result of this amazing affiliation. Further, the cancer center that you see here is an even further affirmation that the most important advances in cancer care and treatments that patients avail themselves of in Boston are available right here in downtown Brockton. This is indeed a gratifying relationship made even more meaningful me personally, knowing that all of the uncertainties issues of treatment-related side effects, changes in body image that cancer patients face can be beautifully and effortlessly addressed here. I've recently addressed audiences of, uh, of, of, of actually of international audiences relating to my experiences as a cancer patient, not really as physician as patient, but rather as a cancer patient trying to navigate the very, very complexities of our healthcare system and I just want to share some of those thoughts with the audience here. There's now a calling to members of our profession, and in fact to all of us, to continue to push forward the boundaries of our knowledge. And not to do so is tragic. Not to provide funding that lead to advances in availability of care to all is unacceptable. We must provide the best of medical care, the type of care that I was fortunate to receive, to all patients not only those who can afford our distorted methods of payments for health services, but to all individuals, regardless of the color of their skin or their sexual preferences, to those who are underserved, to those who speak English as a third language, to those who do not speak English, to those who have difficulty in paying for medicines, to those who have difficulty in understanding how to take their medicines, to those whose major obstacle in their health care is getting transportation to the hospital to see their physician or get a diagnostic scan or receive treatment. It is an essential right for all. And these latter items, <laughs> the, 
These latter items have become critically important to me, not only from my personal perspective, but for the patients that we serve. And fortunately, I've got very, very philanthropic patients within the medical center, and one of my patients has just made a very, very substantial philanthropic grant to actually address the issues of financial needs of our patients. And in the construct of that grant, we've been able to avail, and you'll be hearing about this more lately, and very frequently, and in the very near future, the ability to basically make these funds available to, to our community affiliates, which is a very, very important thing for me. And you'll be hearing more about that shortly. We need all to devote our time, our resources, and our energies, and our very beings to help better understand the complexities of the cancers that we treat, and in so doing, provide these essential skills to our patients. I can truthfully and unambiguously say that the Signature Healthcare and BIDMC collaboration, and a special, and a special shout out to Marie Gross, who was instrumental in the initial aspects of that collaboration, has and will continue to allow these goals to, met, to be met. So with that, I thank you very much for your attention. And the, really, the extraordinary success of the collaboration goes to many, many people. And you're going to be hearing from two of the key people of, that, of this collaboration. The first is my very close colleague, Dr. Rolf Fredder, who serves as Chief of Medical Oncology and Hematology. And Rolf's going to share some of his thoughts relating to the collaboration with you now. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mark, uh, for that very powerful and uh, personal uh, testimonial here. Uh, and welcome to everybody. It's, it's terrific to see everybody here, not just medical staff from here and, and the Beth Israel Deaconess, but also uh, lots of our, our patients here. This center is for you. And I couldn't be more delighted to be here now, and I'm looking forward to uh, turning the key and uh, powering this uh, baby up in the near future here. <laughs> let's, let's see what she can do. Uh, but, you know, why is this important? Why, why has all this effort been put in, uh, starting with Kim Hall and Marie Gross and, and many others here? Because uh, the bad news is, cancer is a very common disease. Uh, I, I don't think we could find anybody who hasn't been touched in it in some way, personally, uh, in, in a spouse, family member, relative, co-worker. It's a devastating disease, physically, uh, as, as well as, as psychologically. Uh, and as the baby boomers, uh, this massive generation, are now entering in their 70s, they, they started in 1946, uh, we're going to see more of this. Colon, breast, lung, prostate, lymphoma, there's going to be a lot more of this. That's the bad news. Uh, the good news is that due to tremendous research and, and progress, we have some amazing weapons that we can use here in terms of advanced uh, radi radiologic techniques, radiotherapy techniques, surgical techniques, chemotherapy, which you hear now uh, all the time about, immunotherapy, unleashing the immune system to attack cancers. That's here now. Uh, and, and the name of the game, as, as many speakers have said, uh, in uh, a cancer center in, the, in Boston or in the community is multidisciplinary care. The coordinated uh, interaction of multiple specialists, radiation oncologists, surgical oncologists, medical oncologists, pulmonologists, uh, and, and uh, many others, all aimed at designing and implementing an individualized treatment plan to hopefully cure a cancer, but if not, beat it back and enhance the longevity of life and, and quality of life. Now, all of that's been done at a, at a very high level in Boston for many years, so why not just go into Boston? Because even for me, going into Boston is, is a, a nightmare at best, as any of you know who've tried it. I mean, you have to get a second mortgage for parking. And, and so the next best thing is, is what we're doing now, and that is bringing Boston uh, to Brockton and other, uh, other communities here. And this has been, been very successful. But the key is, is multidisciplinary care, and that's what we have now. I had the, the pleasure of coming here in, in March 2016. I, I was very fortunate that my partner, Dr. Manera, uh, came with me, who, who's uh, very busy, and, and really fortunate and gratified that, that much of my team, our team, uh, came with us. And, and, we, and we've recruited some really top-tier people in the, in the interim uh, from the hospital and around here. And, and what we have now is, is a booming medical oncology program. In the last uh, uh, fiscal year, uh, Lisa Manera and I and our team have seen and, and treated more than 1,300 new consults, new patients. 
not all are, are, are cancer patients, many are, are heme patients, but they're all getting a personalized and high level of care. So we now here have a service, our team, that is, is fulfilling a hole that was here, in-house medical oncology. And, and when you add that to outstanding radiation oncology with Dr. Lane, pathology with Dr. Carlson, radiology with Dr. Saltzman, and, and many others, our surgical program, we have multidisciplinary care here. We have brought Boston to Brockton, and for the vast majority of our, our patients, they're all getting very high-level care. And the good news is it's close by and the parking is free. Uh, I really cannot overstate the importance of our affiliation with an outstanding center like the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. Five to ten percent of our patients really immediately require tertiary care and having a wonderful medical director, colleague and friend like Dr. Garnick and many others here uh, to, to work with has been an absolute joy and, and this is just the beginning here and this is, has been a great advantage to our patients. We have access to clinical trials we will, in, in the not too distant future, be bringing appropriate ones down here from Beth Israel. Uh, we have access to advanced surgical technique, techniques, a quick pipeline in there. And I want to stress, this is very much a, a two-way street here. We take patients from Boston, we'll do critical aspects of their care, such as chemotherapy and so on, and prepare them for advanced surgery, advanced radiologic techniques. So this has been a, a is and, and will continue to be a very fruitful partnership. But as I mentioned, cancer not only is, is very prevalent, it, it's a devastating disease, physically and psychologically. For the individual, for the family, for all of our, our social networks, it's, it's devastating. And a big part of, of this cancer center also has to be being human, being warm, providing a personalized environment for cancer care. And I have to take a moment here to, to uh, send a personal shout out to our service line director here, Susan Meyer. Susan, raise your hand, please. Many of you may not know this, but Susan has a customer service and cancer care in her DNA. Her, her mother uh, had a similar role, and I had the privilege of uh, probably not working with her, working for her at the, at the other center and, and before that. And Susan has always stressed an incredible le level of personalized customer service for every patient. This is a, a terrible disease. The least you can do is try to make it personalized and comfortable. Uh, for, for every patient. And Susan and the rest of our team are absolutely outstanding at this. So in a nutshell, this is important. And I strongly believe that we have cutting edge, top tier, Harvard level, personalized and compassionate cancer care here. And it's only going to get better in this new center. And I'll turn this over now to my colleague, Dr. Lane. Uh, thank you all. I can't say how proud I am to work here. Uh, I've been here for almost 10 years. If you were to ask my spouse what I do when I go to work every day, you'd be told, oh, Dr. Lane, he just goes in and he pushes a button every day and treats the patients and then they go home. And that's all he does. Uh, but what I'd say about radiation, radiation is very complicated. I always like to say it's not just me, it's a whole team. Uh, there is a team behind the scenes that patients will never see. There are some people that they will see. It's uh, front desk staff. It's our radiation therapist. There's behind the scenes physicists, dosimetrists, nurses. And what we're doing is all working together to really treat the patients the best we can. Uh, since I've been here for 10 years, we've really been doing high quality care uh, to our patients. Uh, it always felt like there was something missing. We never had medical oncology on site. Despite doing the best radiation treatments we could, if a patient needed chemotherapy, they would have to drive halfway across town to a chemotherapy clinic and get the, uh, the treatment there. So we really could not coordinate our care great amongst each other. Uh, so it was really a relief when we started this whole project and now medical oncology with Dr. Freider and his group were coming on board. So now those patients can get all their treatments in one center. Uh, up to this point, we've been not side by side in the hospital, but better than it was before. Uh, we have been recognized for the quality of care we deliver here. We're recognized as a comprehensive cancer center through the Commission on Cancer. We're also recognized as a breast center of excellence through a group called the NAPBC. So we work hard to really make sure 
we're doing the right things and getting that high quality care to the patients we deserve, uh, the, the care to the patients that they deserve. Uh, this building is just one step further in that uh, excellent care that we're able to offer patients. It will bring the medical oncology and radiation oncology side by side. Patients needing those treatments don't have to travel across town or even to a different floor. They just literally cross the hallway and they can get the, the other treatment or see the other care providers. Uh, I am excited to have the affiliation with Beth Israel as well. Uh, we work closely with the radiation department there, Dr. Stevenson, Dr. Berman, and their whole group. Uh, it's an easy flow of patients. There are things here that we can't treat, so when those patients need care in Boston, it's an easy phone call to uh, pick up the phone and, and send those patients there, and it works the other way as well. There are patients who are seen in Boston who might have their surgery in Boston, and then they don't want to travel every day to Boston to get radiation, so it's a quick phone call down to us, and we get those patients in, and we can really keep those patients locally so they're not traveling into Boston every day for their treatments. Uh, so we're really excited uh, with what's happening in our department. We have a brand new machine that we've just installed called a True Beam. Uh, we're going to continue the same level of care we were offering over at our other center. We're going to expand on what we're able to offer our patients. Uh, there are certain treatments that in the past we had to send patients into Boston that we'll now be able to offer on this new machine, specifically a treatment called SBRT. So for instance, a patient with an inoperable lung cancer, in the past they would have to go to Boston to get radiation treatment. Uh, to get a shortened course of radiation. Once we get our program up and running on this machine, we'll be able to offer that here. Uh, also, another type of treatment called stereotactic radiosurgery. So, for instance, patients with brain metastases, if they have a lim limited number of brain mets, uh, we'll be able to treat those patients here as well. Uh, so we're excited with the new things we're going to be offering. We're excited with the affiliation with Beth Israel. Our goal is to continue uh, providing quality care to our patients uh, to really keep the patients locally uh, getting uh, a high level of care that they, they deserve. Thank you. Thank you, doctors. Appreciate it. Thank you. I just want to thank our, our city officials who were here today uh, earlier, Ann Beauregard and uh, Al DiGamalvo is here representing State Senator uh, Mike Brady. So thank you, for, thank you for joining us. I just want to take take one minute to recognize uh, a special family that's with us here today. Um, if you walk into the Cancer Center and you look at the cafe, the cafe is named the Steve Friot Cafe. Steve was the director of facilities here uh, for several years and we recently lost Steve to his battle with cancer. And the employees of Signature Healthcare have gotten together and uh, named the center, the uh, cafe in Steve's honor. And his wife, Kathy, his son, Steve, and his daughter, Kristen, are here today. And I just wanted to say thank you for coming. And uh, Steve was such an important fabric of our family here. And uh, we miss him a great deal. I want to take a minute to thank our generous donors whose kindness has helped to make this Cancer Center a reality. Our fundraising efforts have been led by a small but dedicated group of volunteers who make our Capital Campaign Committee. I'd like to personally thank those people today, Barry Koritz, I see Barry over there, hi Barry, Patty Lawton's here, Gary Leonard, Joe Tanzi, and Fred Nicoli, who's the chair of our Campaign Committee. Fred, can you come up and say a few words, please? Well, good afternoon and uh, welcome uh, everyone to the opening of this great addition to the Brockton Hospital. As chairman of the foundation and a member of the board of trustees of Signature Healthcare and Brockton Hospital, I too want to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart for joining us uh, here today to celebrate the opening of the Cancer Center at Brockton Hospital. I was born and raised in Brockton and have wonderful memories of growing up in this great city and this ceremony today will become one of those wonderful memories. I also have memories of several of my family members uh, that were diagnosed with cancer, uh, whose only option at that time uh, was going into Boston for treatments. Thank God most of them, uh, most of my family members survived uh, after being treated and lived full lives into their 80s cancer-free, uh, except one, uh, my father. He lost his life to a rare form of leukemia at age 55, 
and it would have been sooner if he chose not to try uh, chemo uh, treatments. He wanted a little more time to get his affairs in order and to have a little more time with the family that he loved so much. So treatments began at the uh, Peter Bent Brigham Hospital at that time to get these, the disease in remission so that uh, he could have that time. Daily trips to Boston, uh, many times during rush hours, were necessary because treatments were unavailable at local hospitals. Brockton Hospital's new alliance with Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center will now, in most cases, eliminate the need to go to Boston. Medical and radiation oncology is available at one location, under one roof, for uh, patients who need the, uh, these treatments. Also, as Dr. Freida mentioned, packing is easy and it's free. And, and easy access into the building. And as I mentioned, um, world-class care, uh, I would be remiss if I did not mention the great doctors and nurses and staff at, uh, right here at Brockton Hospital. Brockton Hospital has always had world-class care through its network of doctors and staff. This is a perfect marriage for both BIDMC and Signature Healthcare. I am also a 20-year cancer survivor and did not need to go to Boston for treatments. One of those great docs right here at Brockton Hospital successfully treated and cured my cancer. And finally, I want to thank, I want to thank all the generously donated time and our money to make this day possible. Friends that I approached for donations and without hesitation reached into their pockets and gave generously. Your support of this capital campaign is significant, and I know this new cancer center and Signature Healthcare's affiliation with Beth, Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center will help make Brockton great again. Thank you. Thank you, Fred. Prior, prior to enduring our hard hat tours, we recognized some of our key donors for their significant support and awarded each of them with a gold shovel. Those recognized include the following. Cabarrus Community Healthcare, Greg Hansen, Rockland Trust Charitable, Charitable Foundation, Ed Sexe, Harbor One Bank, Jim Blake, and Dr. Vina Joshi and Kim and Ellen Holland. Thank you for your support. There are a few others that we wish to recognize and thank today for their generous support, which means so much to our patients. Kim and Fred, would you please join me? The beautiful Garden of Hope, just to, right of the, just to the right of the main entrance of the building, is a generous gift of the Paul and Phyllis Fireman Foundation. When the monument sign is complete, it will bear their name and proudly be displayed at the entrance to the garden. Diva Hurst, the executive director, would you please come forward to accept this small token of our appreciation for your very generous gift. In raising money for such a worthy cause, I have the pleasure of meeting so many really good people. Mark Brewster of Brewster Ambulance Service is one of those people. Brewster Ambulance is the EMS provider for the city of Brockton, and Mark deeply cares about the community. Recently, Mark made a generous donation to our campaign on behalf of the Brewster Ambulance family. Accepting this token of our appreciation on behalf of Brewster is Peter Zampine, Director of Business Development. I would also like to recognize Telemachus and Irene Demoulis Family Foundation. The Demoulis Foundation, under the leadership of Arthur Demoulis, owns and operates Market Basket. 
You all know the story of how the employers of Market Basket walked out in defense of Arthur Demoulis when he was let go as the chairman of the board for advocating on behalf of the employees. We are fortunate to have three Market Basket stores in our service area. One right here in Brockton, one on Route 106 in West Bridgewater, and one in Raynham, just a short distance from our Raynham office on Broadway. The Demoulis Foundation has made a generous gift, and I'd like to invite Lorianne Demoulis up front to accept that. And then, there is an outstanding office supply company in Brockton whose history goes back just about as far as that of Brockton Hospital. Who but W.B. Mason. <laughs> W.B. Mason is the largest privately held office products dealer in the United States and is headquartered right here in Brockton, Massachusetts. Founded in 1898, just two years after the founding of Brockton Hospital, W.B. Mason has been a family-owned business since that time and now has over 60 distribution centers across the United States. Complementing W.B. Mason's growing business footprint is their tremendous dedication to local philanthropy. Many local charities, including Signature Healthcare, have benefited greatly from the generosity of W.B. Mason and its owners, Steve Green, John Green, and Leo Meehan. The Helen Green Cardiac Catheterization Suite at Brockton Hospital was made possible by a generous gift from W.B. Mason and was dedica dedicated in 2008 in memory of Steve and John's mother, Helen. That gift made life-saving cardiac procedures available to many people who previously had to travel to Boston for that treatment. It has provided thousands of patients with local life-saving procedures over the years. W.B. Mason's chairman, Steve Green, and his brother, John Green, exec executive vice president, are here with us today, along with Steve's wife, Carol, and they have a special announcement. Hello, everybody. Oh, I'll be brief, I can promise you that. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to thank uh, my family. My grandparents actually bought the company from a gentleman named William Betts Mason, who is buried less than a mile down the road from here. And uh, I want to thank uh, Leo Meehan, uh, who kept this company going after my grandparents and my parents. He's sitting right here today. Stand up. Stand up. Without Leo. Without Leo and his vision and his genius, we wouldn't be, Johnny and I would not be standing up here with my wife, Carol, and I. This gentleman took the ball from uh, what my grandparents started from William Betts Mason, and my parents got it in the mid-60s, and it goes back to 1898. It's quite a story, and uh, Jeff, you were only wrong on one thing, but things change. Okay. Staples has now been bought, which we think is a good thing, but they are now the largest privately held in the United States. So we're kicking their butt. Don't worry about that. Well, we love you more. <laughs> you took care of my, our late mother and mother-in-law and my wife, um, my mom, Helen. She bled Brockton and John and I, and I married Carol, who now bleeds Brockton. We love the city. Leo, when he came from Quincy, said we're never going to move out of Brockton. So we're all really Brockton, you know, Bravo. strong. And, um, you know, on my ride down here, uh, Leo called me and said, uh, you ready? And I said, yeah. He said, it's not often you're going to go over and have a building named after you, especially while you're alive. <laughs> so um, that is the announcement. And, uh, my brother wants to say a few words. I just want to thank you all. I want to thank the hospital. 
Kim and Jeff were instrumental in, in getting us up here, and the staff, the doctors, the nurses. Um, this is a great place to go. My wife has spent some time here. Great A hospital, loves it. Um, doesn't want to come back, but, <laughs> but uh, here's my brother, John. Thank you very much. I know one thing we need to contribute to the hospital right away, and that is some folding chairs for you people who have been standing for so long. So I will be brief. Uh, Brockton Hospital, uh, the old name Brockton Hospital, means a lot to me because I had my tonsils out here. And my mother and my dad were patients here. And what's really important to me more recently is my son was born here 19 years ago. My son who was at St. John's University and who said to me, Dad, I'm studying too hard. I cannot come to this event tonight. I said, Nathan, who are you kidding? What are you really doing? <laughs> but um, again, this, this hospital holds a, a lot of great memories to me. And thank God my speech is in the envelope. Thank you, Maeve. My girlfriend, Maeve. <laughs> Okay, I'll get uh, formal now. Good afternoon, everyone. I want you to know what a privilege it is to be part of this uh, festivities today and to meet such wonderful people who do such wonderful things for people, for patients. It is also a privilege and an honor to give back in the form of a gift that will sustain and lengthen the lives of patients who suffer from this awful disease. How great is it that we now have a state-of-the-art facility right here in our own community? For that, there is no greater gift to give. And for a kid, as my partner Leo likes to remind me, graduated magna cum laude <laughs> from college, for me personally to be able to do this makes this absolutely one of the best days of my life. I only wish my mother were here today to witness this happy occasion. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you, Steve. I'm going to ask uh, everyone to please move outside the tent. We're going to do the unveiling. exceptional, high-quality, compassionate care. And our tagline is, that's our signature. We say it that way because we know when we put our name on our care, it is important. Even more so, I realize, putting your name on our care is an extremely high bar that everybody in this town understands. Thank you so much for your humbleness your willingness to give back to this community, your encouragement. I promise you that we will not embarrass your name and we will deliver care that it's up to your standards, which I know is an extremely high standard. Thank you for doing that. For us. Thank you.